December 7th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Joel chapter 3 of the Old Testament. For look, in those days and at that time I will return the exiles to Judah and Jerusalem. Then I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. I will enter into judgment against them there concerning my people Israel, who are my inheritance, whom they scattered among the nations. They partitioned my land, and they cast lots for my people. They traded a boy for a prostitute. They sold a little girl for wine so they could drink. Why are you doing these things to me, Tyre and Sidon? Are you trying to get even with me, land of Philistia? I will very quickly repay you for what you have done. For you took my silver and my gold and brought my precious valuables to your own palaces. You sold Judeans and Jerusalemites to the Greeks, removing them far from their own country. Look, I am rousing them from that place to which you sold them. I will repay you for what you have done. I will sell your sons and daughters to the people of Judah. They will sell them to the Sabaeans, a nation far away. Indeed, the Lord has spoken. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare for a holy war. Call out the warriors. Let all these fighting men approach and attack. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I too am a warrior. Lend your aid and come all you surrounding nations and gather yourselves to that place. Bring down, O Lord, your warriors. Let the nations be roused and let them go up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit in judgment on all the surrounding nations. Rush forth with the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, stomp the grapes, for the winepress is full. The vats overflow, indeed their evil is great. Crowds, great crowds are in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and moon are dark, and the stars withhold their brightness. The Lord roars from Zion, from Jerusalem his voice bellows out. The heavens and the earth shake, but the Lord is a refuge for his people. He is a stronghold for the citizens of Israel. You will be convinced that I, the Lord, am your God, dwelling on Zion, my holy mountain. Jerusalem will be holy. Conquering armies will no longer pass through it. On that day the mountains will drip with sweet wine, and the hills will flow with milk. All the dry stream beds of Judah will flow with water. A spring will flow out from the temple of the Lord, watering the valley of acacia trees. Egypt will be desolate, and Edom will be a desolate wilderness, because of the violence they did to the people of Judah, in whose land they shed innocent blood. But Judah will reside securely forever, and Jerusalem will be secure from one generation to the next. I will avenge their blood, which I had not previously acquitted. It is the Lord who dwells in Zion. God, in reading about all the slavery pieces of this last chapter of Joel, it got me thinking about that topic. Um, being a Caucasian person is not something that has been part of my history. It's definitely something that we learn about uh, in history. And there are still people in slavery but i would say for most of us it's something that we don't normally see or we're not normally affected by it but there are still human slaves sex slaves work slaves uh, out there in the world but i got to thinking about the word slavery and how it has definitely become almost synonymous with our idols now. In Galatians 5 you talk about for freedom you have set us free and for us to stand firm and not submit again to the yoke of slavery. And I think about that with my sin areas that I go back to them. I, I pray about them, I have Bible studies on them, I talk to my accountability partners about them, I talk to my mentors about them, and yet there's, even though it's gotten less and less, there's still times that I go back to those areas where I know that those are my weakest points of my strength. 
That's where I always get myself in the biggest trouble, but it's also uh, my idol, my sin area. And it's also, I would say, what has me in enslavement. I am still enslaved to those things if I'm still willing to participate in them. If I'm still getting to the point where I rely only on myself and not you, God, and I'm too weak to want to, to even have the desire to say no to it. But you didn't send your son to die on the cross so that we could still be in slavery to anything, to people, to sins, to idols. You completely, through your son, Jesus Christ, through his death on the cross, you completely set us free from those things. So why do we keep going back? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. Uh, but I do know that I, I cave into that desire to have what I want. Um, and again, like I said, since you and I have been working on a relationship, it's become less and less, but it's still there in my life. You still need to become greater in my life, and I need to definitely become less in my life. I do know that you are a refuge for me. I do know that you are my stronghold. I just don't want it to be something where I'm constantly going to the stronghold when I'm having problems and then leaving the stronghold, <laughs> leaving the refuge. God, allow me, allow everyone listening to this video to learn how to completely trust you, to completely have faith in you, that you know what is better for us in our life than we do. That when we're enslaved to something, our sins, which turn into our idols, those are not only a time when we're doing this, doing Satan's bidding, but also for me, it's all that time away from you. Time I could be glorifying you, time I could be helping your kingdom, sharing your message, sharing your word with other people. I, I just think of all the time wasted on wanting to do what Janelle wants to do. God, help me to be fully reliant on you. I, I can clearly see in my life that you continue to prune that part of me. And financially, I'm completely dependent upon you. I don't want to be like Egypt and desolate or like Edom in a, in a desolate wilderness. I, I want the water to return to, to my stream bed, as Joel puts it. I want my strengths to only come from you. God, help me to always remember that your son took on that painful death on the cross and took on the sins of the world so that I could be set free from those choices of going after my idols, going after those sin areas, of being enslaved to them. God, I choose freedom. I choose honoring your son's death on the cross. I choose you over me. I pray all this in your son's name. Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen.